Okay, in the morning they are distributing all the food. Yeah, yes. Actually, that's like all those tremendous suffering, but it's much better than what on the boat. At least we have some water and little food. Um, but what most most horrible is the way we've been treated by the soldier. They can rape young women. They can beat up a lot of people because people mentally disrupted, they disturb, and they the experience of being a boat, being uh, beat up or roped by the Thai pirate, being displayed from their own hometown, all those cause a lot of emotional roller coaster and, and disruption and pain and suffering for many people, and many cannot take it, so they they become crazy, and because they raise craziness. And in order to keep the order in the set a very big play with too many people, the soldier had to use a very violent force. Oh dear. Yeah. They beat up people up. Sometimes they have to kill them if they are violent. Um, you can see, you can hear, you can witness that every day. Yeah. So that is the most difficult part. All those we all try to adapt to this life you know, at, at best we can. And I myself, as a healer, a doctor, I walk around, continue to help restore people's health, give them the emotional comfort, whatever I can for them. And I also extend myself to help the restaurants. <coughs> I came to restaurants to act at, at the median, me, me, media, medium uh, for between people who a little bit crazy, I can help them to to translate whatever they need to know. And because of that, the restaurants pay attention to me. And they ask me, who am I, where do I go from, from there? And I told them I have no, absolutely no family anywhere. Uh, so they said, well, we will find you a sponsor. So thanks to them, they found me a sponsor, a, a, a old, an old couple who are professor at the university in Pennsylvania and that belong to Lutheran Church. I'm very grateful that the Lutheran Church and this couple uh, sponsor me and from there I were able to get on the, fl the flight and into uh, San Francisco and then finally to Pennsylvania. And you will not believe the day that they came to pick me and other people that can go to uh, San Francisco, they let us go to town, to stop at the town, the first time for how many months, almost a year, that we can see normal life. How many days you all been there? To, to, to all together is almost a year. A uh, year? Yes. Yeah. So you will not believe the, the, nightmare. <laughs> oh, the, the feeling of seeing normal life. And then you, we cannot believe that there is more normal life, that people can walk around and have a restaurant and have normal food and normal conversation. Actually, we don't know how to behave. Honestly, we don't know how to come to somebody and ask a very common question because we don't. We, we, we taught to be shut up and just follow the order from the communist regime and also in the uh, concentration camp. So, it's very difficult to carry a conversation or even make a common sense. I usually just stare. I just stare at people like this. And people kind of look at me like, why you just stare at me? Because I try to form a question. You know what I mean? It's amazing, isn't it? You, you forget your human human. Yeah. And I, oh my gosh, I see the food, but I have no money. Where do we get the money? I see the food and I stood there and I said, oh my God. And the woman looked at me and she said, which one do you want? I said, no. <laughs> so when, when finally I can communicate to her that I like to eat, but I have no money. And this is humanistic nature. She said, no problem. She get a bowl, she gave me food, and I feel well. I just do that and I eat like I never ate in my life. And I want one more bowl. And she gave me one more bowl. Ooh. It's now I look at I look back this so embarrassed. You know? But She's kind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Malaysian people are very kind. So from there we went to um, San Francisco and there the, um, the 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 Catholic nun. How many people to go to San Francisco? Oh not 
about 50, 60 people. 60. Yeah, yeah. I think about around that. Yeah. And they have been there maybe two, three years in the concentration camp. Ooh. Yeah, for me, very short time. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, because paperwork, because looking for sponsor, and because whatever the reason, I don't know, but some of them had been in the camp pretty long. And some would stay for 10 years. Yeah, because they find no sponsor. Yeah. Or they go crazy, nobody sponsors them. Yeah. Especially if you have skill, uh, you easily get the sponsor. And you show your cooperation, you show your peaceful nature, you don't show your crazy fighting nature. If, if you can demonstrate that, uh, you will get some help. Yeah. So they, the nun, they give each of us a plate of food. You will not believe. We all sat in the corner of each side like this and we just eat. Oh my gosh. Uh, unbelievable. It tastes so good. Everything tastes so good. Huh? It's a heavenly. Yeah. And they give us some clothes. Could we, you know, we, I, we, I, jump off, I jump off the boat. Just one pair of clothes, huh? no shoes. So they give us some shoes, a pair of shoes and a, a pair of clothes. And then finally, the next day, they ship us to. Pennsylvania and going to a sponsor home and of course from Vietnam living in poverty very poor and going to America with a beautiful home it is a great experience like like a Cinderella you know I mean wow the kingdom right but we care we the, the refugee we, we naively think in our mind that because we escape with so much hardship that the world will open their arm and receive us. It's not the case. Yes. Not, not at all. When I get there, then I realize that all my credentials are not accepted, and I have no credential, no in a piece one piece of paper to prove to the government what I was, what I truly am, right? So I had to go to GED. You know what GED? No. In America, there are a program called GED that if people drop out of school, uh, high school, because of whatever reason, uh, or don't want to go to school, or um, don't have enough money or whatever. Any reason. Any reason. The, Google, the government give you a second chance by taking GED. They, they, they combine Study all it. everything in, yeah, and then you can take the test and you pass that an equivalent to high school diploma. So for me to do anything, I first must have crossed that door of GED. Yes. Imagine that at the doctor. <laughs> you have to go to GED again. But I have to accept it. If I want to be working to help people or want to just uh, a cashier on the super in a supermarket and I, I refuse that I refuse to, to, to be to do something so I went to GED when I arrived the lady looked at me and she said here she gave me about this much of books that I need to study in English I took it home and uh, you know what about three weeks I three called weeks. her I said I'm ready to take the test she said, no, you're not. I said, yes, I am. She said, how can you? With this much of book and you can take uh, the test? Impossible. Yeah, impossible. She said, I give you a trial test. If you pass a trial test, I will give you sit on the real test. Because mostly people take at least the fastest six months. Mostly people two years. You only three weeks. Impossible. So I came and I took the trial test. She surprised. I passed it. Huh? So I, she said, I have to let you sit in the real <laughs> test. <laughs> she believed this time. Yeah. So when I, sit, I sat the real test, I passed the test. And you know the day that I received the diploma? They arranged for a congressman and the news to come to, you know, Try to, like, yes, to, to uh, the TV, the news, the uh, newspaper, the Congress, everybody. It's the first time you did three weeks, you can go for the test reading. Yeah. Oh, it's very <laughs> impressive. Yeah. Well, I, I, I feel that uh, anything you want to do, you can do it. And I say this, if I can escape the communist, actually, I can do anything. And then later I will show you, then why not I try to become a very successful, successful businessman instead of taking a role? I will share with you that.
普通人需要用最少六个月到两年时间去读的课程，德德天天竟然用三个礼拜就完成了，嗯、你想象得到吗？其实，大家可以跟我们分享，就是意志力。其实，我们的意志力要坚强，只要你有那个信心和意志力，很多不可能的事情都可以做到。接下来，我们再听听他把这么宝贵、非常宝贵的经验分享给观众朋友们。来